I became interested in science because I'm really fascinated by nature. All the colors of the sky, of the flowers. It's a very colorful world. I'm a synthetic inorganic coordination chemist. I work a lot on photophysics and photochemistry because we want to understand the excited states and because I'm also interested in optical luminescent materials. So when you talk about materials, we also need to understand how the different molecules would come together, would pack themselves. So I need to understand supramolecular chemistry as well. And we are interested in molecular functional materials, trying to make our materials that can perform some sort of a function, and particularly those that are related to light emitting materials and also related to energy research. As a chemist, we are already very good in trying to tune uh, the energy because we are looking at metal complexes that will absorb light strongly. So we are making metal ligand chromophores. We are also making luminescent metal complexes. And we want to achieve high color purity. For example, if we have the blue, the green, the red, the three primary colors, then if they are luminescent, then we might be able to make organic light emitting dots for a white light for solid state lighting. We are facing energy crisis. Around 20% of our global power is really used for lighting. And right now, the lighting processes are not very energy efficient. And so if we can make use of OLED, OLED for lighting, this will really help to save a lot of energy. One time, my student was trying to dissolve the compound, and then it has a certain color, but then when he add a bad solvent to it, which really reduced the solvation, immediately he see a very drastic color change. Very beautiful, sort of rainbow color changes, just by changing the solvent composition. And this is because we are really trying to manipulate the intermolecular forces, the molecular packing of the individual molecules. It's really so exciting because now we have an additional dimension where we can tune this homo lumo energy gap. The next direction of my research really is to try to meet the challenges of how we can harness the excited state. We need to understand the fundamental processes, the excited state dynamics, which are very important for us to really make strongly luminescent materials to improve their properties. I'm really very excited about what I'm doing, all these excited states, and actually myself is also in an excited state always. <laughs> I've been telling my students, if every day is so smooth and successful, if all the things go as planned, then this is not really research. If you want new discovery, Always you will encounter problems, difficulties, and the way to do it is not to be very frustrated, but rather you should try to think of more constructive ways to overcome the difficulties. And with that sort of training, actually you become a more mature person, you'll be more good at problem solving, and it is really a very fantastic attribute that you can acquire by doing research because you learn from your failures to overcome all these difficulties and problems. <laughs>